Hi. Um, some of you guys requested this uh, video in English, so I'll uh, make one with a uh, bit, bit of uh, illustration. Um, I'm gonna make a pike rig for trolling live baits. Can also be used for trolling dead baits, but um, I normally fish uh, live baits with great success. What I have here are two trebles. Um, these are a bit oversized, but uh, these are for illustration purposes only. Hook sizes, I vary a lot, depending on the size of bait fish. Target fish, if it's sander, I go to a smaller hook. If it's pike, uh, I go to bigger hooks. Bigger bait fish, bigger hooks again. Normally, sander is size 8. Onus, ST, 36s. Um, if I have big roach for pike, I'll go to a size 6 or uh, even a size 4. Yeah, uh, this is some normal fly backing line, just for illustration purposes only also. So you can see better how I tie the rig. Things you do, you can do this in uh, fluorocarbon. I would recommend uh, 0.9 uh, and above, because if you go under that, you will have a lot of uh, rip-offs. Normally I use uh, pike wire. Uh, steel wire 17 strand, 19 strand, 49 strand. Uh, normally I don't use 7 strand because I don't think it's supple enough and uh, you could also use a titanium leader but uh, this is how it's done. Take the hook, put the tag in through the eye, run the tag in along, the shank of the hook, then you turn it one time in the split of the end of the shank and then you go around four or five times this will secure itself like this yeah then you take the other tag end three out of the hook if you use uh, wire you have to be careful here not to uh, curl or kink it so you have to ease it through. Also with uh, fluorocarbons, it has a tendency to, to, to curl, so ease it through. That's one hook. Depending on the size of the bait fish, um, I use a lot of uh, different sizes of bait fish, so I make a lot of different rigs from home. So they're ready and uh, so everything depends where you want to place the hook according to the size of the bait fish. So normally I put one in the, the nostril of the bait fish and uh, this uh, goes on the middle of the, the bait fish in the side or a little behind the middle. Same as before through the eye, run it along the shank like this Go with the tag end, and then be careful not to uh, damage the material uh, hitting the points of the hook. Four times round, and then through. Again, remember not to kink it. There's the finished arrangement. Uh, normally I tie these as a combi rig. Um, I use like this wire and from this part and the section up I use fluorocarbon. So normally I tie that uh, with no, not that's jumping the two materials. Um, if I would use wire straight through I would crimp this tag end with a crimp. If I use uh, fluorocarbon in which most of my fishing, uh, then I would uh, use a C nut. Don't know what it's named, but um, I tie it like this. Put the two lines running along, and then just make once through, twice through. It's some sort of figure of eight, but yeah. For carbon, doesn't uh, normally use lubrication. Uh, but uh, it slips easier if you lubricate it. There you have it. Finished rig. You can tune that up with uh, rattle B 
beats, smile rates, and whatever you like. I hope you um, will take this into consideration next time you try to make a rig for uh, live baits. Okay?